Good day mga kababayan! Anywhere in the world you may be, ito na naman po si Dr. Iris Radev and I'm so excited. I'm so excited today because with me are two of the most um, inspiring young people I know currently. And ito po yung mga Dizon Brothers. So they're part of our Global Pinoy Success Group. This is Mike. Dizon, and that's John Dizon. So, they're brothers po. Mahirap hulaan kung sino ang mas bata o sino ang mas matanda. Sabihin na lang natin that they're both, ang importante, they're both young and very successful. And so, that's why I invited them to take part in sharing yung mga insights nila. Kasi we have a lot of young members po. And I, I just thought that it would be a good idea to inspire uh, young people na kahit, you know, age is not a factor really in in the you, you know yung mga trials new to the success pathway so kahit anong edad mapa same same is true for for older people wala pong fact hindi talaga factor yung age so you can have success at any age so welcome thank you, thank you. Thank yeah you so inviting. just a little background guys um would you care to share with the um people so currently you are businessman dito sa Canada. Uh, currently, mm -hmm. yes. We're financial, uh, we do financial consulting. Oh, very good. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> and before you did this though, meron kayong ibang ginagawa, right? You were doing other things. So, tell us about what, what were you doing, John, before this? Well, I was going to school and then I, I was working at nights so I could put myself through school. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. So, John, ibig sabihin, you didn't really come from what we call a too privileged of a background. No, no. We, we've... We've never come from, from a rich family. We always had a humble beginnings. Wow, yeah, that's one of the things that I truly, truly admire. Because in this age and time, you know, um, it's not so true anymore that you need all the, uh, let's say, connections or that you need to come from um, a rich family, you okay. know, to you be know. able to make it. It's the new economy and that's so empowering. That's what I like about it. Because, you know, like people with humble beginnings, as most of our other um, friends, dito sa Global Pinoy Success, you know, they, they don't really have that much to begin with. Pero, you guys are a testament to how, you know, you can have, you can begin from relatively not much, and then you make something of yourself. So Absolutely. You, yeah, wow. So, you put yourself through school, John. Yes. Yes, and then afterwards, like what, like what was happening afterwards? I was looking for, for a career, something, uh, something that I could be proud of. Because I, I don't, I don't want to just go to in an office and work a nine to five job. I want, I want to make a difference. I want to leave a legacy. So wow. I, yes. Parang na ano ako dun eh. Do you ever hear that from people? You know, like sometimes you just, you know, you talk to people and they're really happy with their jobs, or they say, okay, I wanna, like, I wanna go to school because I want to be successful. Pero to hear someone say na, I want to leave a legacy, oh my goodness, <laughs> that is a completely different type of mindset. And kay Mike naman. Um, so Mike, tell us a little bit about your background. It's about the same part. So I went to school then full time for accounting. I was trying to be a CPA here in Canada and then also I worked full time. So I did uh, accounting related work for a uh, company private company but so I work full-time uh, and then also went to school full-time so oh my goodness <laughs> so you both were really doing the hustle hey like you really you're, you're the type of people who don't take you know education for granted or you know because you were working hard to support yourselves mm -hmm. absolutely education is really important but we uh na namin yung essence na education is very important kaya talagang sabi namin no we have to work hard to um para makuha namin Oh, wow. And, you know, just like, you know, listening to you guys, you're not only inspiring, but it gives me a sense of, meron, meron kakaiba sa inyo. You know, kasi, yeah, we, we do hear stories about, yun nga, people who put themselves through school. Pero, knowing you, kasi I know them po, they are uh, friends of mine, too, in, in real life. But knowing you, you know, like, there's something that, that goes deep. And what I admire about you guys is what we call your mindset. You know, like I, I've always thought like, wow, these guys are just, you know, you're, you're different in a way because you, the way you think is, is completely like, you know, way more mature for your years. And I think that's a key factor in your success now. So t tell us, like share with our audience, how, how did you achieve this kind of mindset? Like this, because I find that you have, you both have this meaningful kind of success mindset. Okay. 
um, first of all, we were exposed po kasi sa life that's not very, uh, very blessed, especially po we're Filipinos, right? Whenever uh, you go to the Philippines po, you see, you know, other backgrounds. And then, meron din po kaming mga relatives kasi doon din po kami nang galing. Um, yung buhay na hindi ganun kagandahan. So, nakikita po namin, oh, ganito yung ano, buhay noon. Um, so, we wanted more, di ba po? We always see sa TV, ang gaganda ng mga taong to, we always see sa TV, oh, there's these successful people. What's the difference between these successful people and these individuals? Kasi we have the same size of brain, we're all just humans, we're all the same, so what's the difference? That's what we wanted to know po, and um, we were like, there's no difference, so uh, it's about what you do. It's about your mindset. It's uh, depending on how you put your mind into it. Because we really believe for that if you put your mind into it, you can do it. Yes, it's, it depends really on the way you think, yes. how you perceive the world. So, did you get that, mga kababayan? Maybe, Mike, you should speak louder para medyo marinig tayo. So, what Mike just said, that, that was like so powerful. So, sabi niya, di ba, it's the mindset that he was looking for that difference between a certain set of successful people and then another set, you know, some, you know this other set na parang kakaiba. So, it really is the mindset. And so, now I'm curious, kasi... You know, like when when you are searching for answers, diba? Nowadays you go to the internet. Yes. Diba? Like you, you, you have a question, you go to you the Google internet, everything. you Google everything. <laughs> um, but then of course, like that depends on gano kaganda yung, si yung um, setup nila. Content. Yes, and all, right. So the old ways, no panahon namin, medyo ancient na ako, <laughs> when we when I have a, a question, I usually turn to books, you know, for to to, to search for an answer. Because I know that the question I'm having right now is not, this is not the first time someone's asking this question, Absolutely. right? So for sure, material have been written about my questions. So now, guys, may I ask you, so do you read books? Yes, a lot. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So tell me how, you know, your reading um, help change your mindset. Like, when did you start reading, John? Mm. I don't remember when I started reading, but it was a long time ago. Wow. Yeah, I, I picked and up. you're only what? How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> I just turned 24. 24. So John is 24 and he's been reading for a long time. And not school books, right? No, not, not school books. School. No. We don't read school books. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so John, like, were you uh, specifically, like, were you like me, look, searching for, you know, answers to your questions? Um, I was looking to... To personal development, like I, if I wanted to do some something different, if I wanted to live a legacy, right, I have to first start myself, right, to change myself, uplift myself. So I started reading philosophy books, right, as a man thinketh. Right, I, I started Favorite doing that. Favorite yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I started to uh, talk about, uh, talk to different successful people. Right, uh, trying to pick up everything that I can use, I can learn from everybody. Actually, yes, sir. It doesn't that, matter if they're successful or if, if they're just a simple man. Yes, I'll, I'll engage them and, and ask some some questions and, that might be able to help me and what I want to do. Alam mo, adami mo sinabing magaganda. <laughs> so I just want to like stress like all the important things that um, John said. So first of all, he said like, yeah, I. You know, I, I wanted to do it because I want. Diba gusto niya po, he wanted to leave a legacy, and so to be able to do that, you have to be able to sustain your success, diba. Yes. And so I heard you say personal development, and I think that that's key. You, that's what sets you know the meaningfully successful people apart from just the successful people. Yung personal development, diba nga ang biggest investment natin is within ourselves, diba. So that's the other piece that you said, which I really like. Yes. Yung sabi mo na. You know, I have to start within. Like, I have to, you know, like, start with myself. So, amazing. Amazing insights. 24. Sigurado ka 24 ka lang. <laughs> I don't know. Hindi. Parang, siguro, you know, you, you have um, um, old age wisdom. Let's put it that way, right? Wh which actually you cultivated. So, it's not really, kaya nga sinasabi natin, it's not really just the age. You can also be, like, 70 and still have the mindset of a uh, 20-year-old, right? Absolutely. Probably. Yeah, it's... Ultimately, your choice, right? Exactly. So, si Mike naman. So, in your case, 
So tell us about your journey with um, your love Reading. affair with books. Yes. Okay. So it's funny po how you mentioned books a while ago. Yung uh, school books, sabi natin. Yung school books, before I wanted to be successful. So I was studying to be a CPA. So then, uh, if you wanted to be successful in that profession, uh, you have to read books, right? You have to read CPA books. So yes, I did read books, uh, CPA books, but I was like, you know, uh, kung ito lang yung binabasa ko, if, if this was all I was reading, yes, I was going to become a CPA. And I told myself, um, kasi po, accounting na yung trabaho ko, di ba? So sabi ko sa sarili ko, when I already had that, um, I can, uh, awa ng Diyos, I can afford what I wanted, I can go wherever I wanted, but then I told myself, okay, ganito na lang bala, ba ako? Um, how can I achieve more? Kasi parang nakukunan po yung gusto ko, di ba? And then also, with all the achievements, it's all just material things, so I, I told myself, Am I happy with this? I, I am happy. When I go shopping, I'm happy for a day. After kung isuot yung mga binili ko, wala na. So, I started asking for answers. Nagtanong po ako, not just accounting questions, but more... Uh, life questions. Life questions. Opo, how do you become really successful? Kasi sabi ko, okay, from this boy na nakatira sa probinsya sa Pilipinas noon, uh, na wala, wa, wa, meron naman konti, pero you know, yung not, not very much. Um, sabi ko, okay, nag-improve na ako, umasenso na ako. Pero, so you can say that, in a sense, I'm successful. I'm successful, but success compared sure. to yeah. other people only. So, anyway, um, sabi ko, I don't feel fulfilled. Akala ko, kapag successful ako, mafulfill ako. So I was looking for more and not just I not about not about the money. So success is not about the money. That's beautiful. Mike. Um so I started reading books but thank you for I started reading books um about philosophy. Philosophy uh yung um how you perceive things, how you live a meaningful life. Uh yung sino ba yun si philosopher siya si Susan Wolf. Um there's three ways na uh there's three um parang criteria na madedetermine mo if uh, how people find meaning anyway it's a long story but that's how it started but that's how my journey began um, through that philosophy course that I took I wow so isa na naman yang maraming magandang sinabi <laughs> so ilang taon ka na Mike? 22 po so 22 years old so to all our members uh, out there who think na okay I'm like too young to to really be successful or to make something out of myself. So here's a 22-year-old and a 24-year-old. Um, John just mentioned a lot of great insights. And ito na ngayon na naman si Mike. <laughs> so, you know, like, I loved what you said about your meaning. You know, like you, na accountant ka na eh. You know, like, or you were like in that pathway already. And a lot of people would consider that, especially sa Canada, right? Like, it's not that easy to, to get, a, you know, into a professional um, type of job. And yung realization mo na, hanggang, ito na lang ba? First of all, like, again, the 9 to 5 thing comes up, right? Like, are you going to be stuck in this cubicle? And then the second thing is, yung fulfillment, yung sinabi mo, I, I find that so powerful. Because I think that that's something na, you know, a lot of us should be asking ourselves. So, sa current na ginagawa po ninyo, are you fulfilled? And that's why, like, I really, really um, find that empowering, yung sinabi mo, Mike. Like, you know, like, fulfillment. Like, I, I don't feel fulfilled. And it's not about the money. You know, if you follow your passion and you help out other people and you bring value to this world, the money will follow. That's just the rule of the universe. Yes, yes, yes. We've, we've seen that. We are a testament to that. Yes. So they are, <laughs> you know, in their current state right now, um, these... What, I call them the Dizon Dynamos. They, you know, they help out a lot of people through their work, their current work, a love which they, a, a job which they love, uh, a job which where they find meaning in. It's not really a job, but it's just um, passion. <laughs> passion. Yeah, it's almost like we're retired. You can you can even say we're retired, but um, retired at twenty two, retired at twenty four. <laughs> wow. Well, um, all we do is we just travel. About one, I spent I spent one week in Montreal, one week in Toronto. That was one week po in New York. Ngayon, we're in Vancouver. You know, oh po. my, yeah. So, so <laughs> jet setting, helping other people, earning money. Earning money. Being your exactly. own boss. Like that, that is a great combination. I mean, don't get me wrong. Doon po sa mga tao na, you know, you, you love your jobs. That's great. As long as you can find fulfillment and passion dyan sa ginagawa ninyo, then that's great. Um, for those uh, others though, however, who... 
katulad nitong dalawa, who, who sought out meaning in what they're doing, then, you know, it's time to, to look, it's time to look for answers. It's time to take a cue from these two. So, read books, mga kababayan. Y- yun po yung, I guess, yun yung gusto natin i-share na mes- message Apo, today, right? Yeah, yung perspective po namin really changed talaga when we started reading books. Kasi po dati, you know, oh, we just look at the money. You gauge your success with the money, but then you felt na, I felt na, we felt that money is not everything. So, yun nga po, change your perspective talaga. Especially if, um, yung perspective mo, it's towards real success, meaningful success. Madadrive yes. ka talaga para maging successful. For example po, di ba, yung mga top notchers sa Pilipinas, usong, usong-usong story yung mga, oh, top notcher to, pero dati, ganito yung story niya, as in, you know, yung yung parents niya, ang nagubote bakal, yung mga ganong story. Yes. And then, yung common denominator po ng mga successful people, napansin ko, is, meron silang meaning. Hindi nila, hindi nila gustong, uh, hindi nila sinasabi noon na, okay, gusto ko maging successful para magkaroon ako ng one million dollars. Hindi ganun eh. Yung sinasabi nila, gusto kong maging successful kasi um, gusto kong tulungan yung nanay ko. Yes, It's precisely. about their mindset. Precisely. It's kind of like the end goal is not really money. Diba? And in the end, truly, bakit nga ba gusto natin magkapera? It's because we want time with yes. our loved ones. It's because we want to help our loved ones. Diba? We want to be able to fund certain charities, for example, to help out other people. In the end, it's that. Really, so, it's not. It's not just the money. Okay. So if you are geared towards like earning pera lang, pera lang yung iniisip, I don't think that that kind of success can be sustainable. So take you from the Dizon brothers, you know you that, that you know like the <laughs> the success is uh, you know like their mindset, their you know, the way of thinking is so evolutionary. I think for for this young age, you know, marami akong kilala. They're the same age, and of course, yung mga busy sila sa mga sarili nilang struggles, you know? Yes. And then, they, they tend to focus so much within na minsan, you know, nawawala na yung, yung focus sa world. Okay. Diba? Na that yes. there, there's more to our kind mm-hmm. of first world or even mm-hmm. third world problems. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So, thank you for sharing that. So, guys, can you give us one final tip? Like, what what books can you suggest to our young generation, our, our young members there? So, three top three books. Top three books. Uh, seven Habits. Seven high habits of highly effective people. My personal Stephen favorite, Kobe. yes. <laughs> and just listen to the 19 minutes that can change your life by Earl Nightingale. Yes. I listen to that every day. Wow. I, oh, that's another piece, right? John, yes. that you know, yung mga hindi mahilig magbasa, wala na po kayong escape nowadays. You can have audiobooks, <laughs> audiobooks right? Audiobooks, yes. yes. Kami too. Wala kaming ano, oras masyado magbasa. magbasa like sit down and read a physical book. So what we do is we just listen sa car. Wow, yeah. That that's you know, <laughs> While I think driving. That's true. University on wheels po. So take note mga young members, okay? Wala nang excuses. So one more book. Um I think as a man think. Yes, another personal favorite of mine. Did you know that that's what inspired Don, Tony Robbins a lot? Really? As a man think of James Allen. That's where he really I mean, he was inspired by Jim Rohn, pero that also inspired him a lot. Yes. So Mike, your turn. My turn. Parehong po kami ng librong binabasa. <laughs> Ang galing nyo nga eh. Two for one. <laughs> Apo, two for one. Yeah. And after niya basahin, ako naman. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Pero yun po. So, my favorite is yung Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yes. And then, meron pa siyang kasunod yung The Eight Habit. Yes, that's and then, right. Um, so let's say one book lang yun. And then uh, Think and Grow Rich. Yes. yes. It's a must read for entrepreneurs. <laughs> so yung mga members natin na entrepreneurs, you have to get this book. Okay? Yeah, think and Grow Rich. Yeah, it's an amazing book. Po. Um, and yung other thing is, sabi nila, you have to get success. Um, or, paano ba yun? If you want to be successful, copy successful people. Uh, parang um, ask Ask them what they're doing, diba? Question is, how do you approach successful people? So, the third book that I could recommend is um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. It's gonna teach you how to interact with people. It's a classic. Yeah. yeah. So, Dale Carnegie. Mm-hmm. So, Carnegie. Sorry, Dale Carnegie. Kasi yung isa pang influential person, si Andrew Carnegie. So, anyway, 
Yes, those are really powerful <laughs> books. Th those are actually my personal favorites as well. It's so funny, right? Like how it, it just, it, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Favorite we don't know, we just attract each other. <laughs> yes, we, we never talked about our favorite books. Uh -oh. And here you are, I just asked you, and yeah, it turns out to be mine, <laughs> mine as well, right? Yeah. Yes, so mga kababayan, we hope you learned something. It's a little bit of a long um, banter today. Pero we really wanted to inspire, like I personally wanted to inspire our young members. You know, take, take, um, uh, take a good insight from these two um, amazing young entrepreneurs. These two young people who have made something out of their humble beginnings. Very empowering po. So, have a wonderful day mga kababayan. Thank you guys Thank you, for Thank passing you, by. Boss. Thank <laughs> you. And um, don't forget to, to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll, see, you'll be seeing more of uh, Mike and John. They'll be sharing some insights from time to time too para sa ating mga, mga younger viewers. And here's uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!